Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 529. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is Make Your Mark, chapter 6 was the final chapter. Apparently, this one fell completely under the radar. Um, ha- Harish Habari, the global brand manager for My Little Pony over on LinkedIn, dropped a post of sorry post off back two months ago celebrating the release of Make Your Mark Chapter Six. In it, she include included the huge reveal that this is the final chapter. We still have plenty of tell your tale to go and it's very possible we will get more G5 forces in other forms on Netflix. But for the series itself, it seems that might have been it. We will keep you posted if anything else appears from this news. Alright, <clears throat> so let's see what the tweet, uh, sorry no, um, the LinkedIn message have to say. Tis the season to get festive and what makes, sorry, what better way than with the final chapter of My Little Pony Make Your Mark. Um, Make Your Mark. Now, out on Netflix, the newest content features dragons, uh, Aurora Corns, that's new, and a whole new world of we try, we try, we try magic camp. All accompanied by a festive music album. Congratulations to all the teens behind this, uh, behind the scenes who brought this to life. All right. So I think this was a while back ago during the anniversary, something like that. So that means October, blah blah blah, and it seems that. <coughs> Make Your Mark is on, uh, it's, it's the last, like chapter 6 was the last season for it. So, this is pretty interesting news, but this is one of those cases where the the show has been in the background for so, not really in the background, what I, what I mean by that is, the show has been there, but not many people watched it or noticed it, that Nobody really noticed or say say that anything, because when you think about it, uh, the speculated rumor of the song that leaked out way back when, when season three <coughs> was going to be the end, that caused an uproar, and that was just from a leaked <coughs> music. <coughs> now, this one, um, say with this one a guy working for um the company says that okay this is going to be the last nobody bats an eye that that says a lot about the show but at the same time too that's the overarching problem for g5 and what i mean by that is that there's so many things going for it or there's so many things running in parallel with it. You have like um, make your mark. You have tell your tales, and those two are TV content. Uh, maybe what tell your tale is more 2D animated and is more suited for the YouTube's, and make your mark is 3D oriented and is suited for Netflix and so on. But for us, the, the viewers. It's a bit of a headache to catch up with stuff like where do I even catch up? What do I even watch? Uh, how do I even consume this? Unlike G4, uh, you consume the show via the TV live streams or well, most people do that. But if not, you, you, you get them via Apple TV, iTunes, whatever and wherever you can get your pony fix and everything is clean 
With this one, it's just all over the place and not in a good way. <sighs> but still, um, let's hope there's more because uh, the show is pretty exciting. The show is pretty fun. And there's a lot of, well, for me personally, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered and I haven't watched Make a Mark that much, so I got no idea if those un th those questions are answered or not. But anyway, um, let's move on to the next news. Next news is Symbiote Studios teasing a derby plush prototype. Uh, while not yet approved by Hasbro, it looks like Symbiote Studios is already working on the derby hooves with this plush muffin, uh, com uh, muffin company for her. Hopefully, we they, they get approval. Uh, we will keep you up to date if post more. Yeah. Nothing much to say about this one. This is just speculations and so on. But man, those Symbiote Studio guys are doing plush really well. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first official plush that Derpy has. Not 100% sure. I, I know there's third party ones, but don't, they don't really count. They, they're not official or licensed. But we will have to wait and see. This is, this is going to be fun. I might get it, I might. Moving on, New Music Equestria Girls opening title remix extended DJ Pwn 3 version release for no apparent reason. Hasbro has dropped a new track title Equestria Girls opening title remix extended DJ Pwn 3 version. According to that title, it's supposed to be an extended re-recording of the 2013 track opening title remix for My Little Pony Questra Girls which itself is a remix of the <laughs> god damn it who wrote this overcast yeah uh -huh. <clears throat> word padding nice which is of course it never ends uh, the title does sort of accurately describe what it is but I don't know what its intended audience is supposed to be or why it's blah 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 so, the the track is out. I, I listened to it and it's pretty fun. It's a remix of a remix of a remix of a remix. But uh, all in all, it is pretty cool. Uh, one of the sad, or not really sad, but one of the most disappointing things is that if you're listening to it on YouTube and you want to put it in your playlist album or whatever it is, you can't. The reason why is that... Um, any children's, uh, for children content on YouTube, YouTube disables the way or disables uh, users from putting the video on a playlist. So it's impossible for uh, users just to put it onto a playlist and so on. So if I were to, let's say, uh, listen to this song and I want to put it on my YouTube music playlist is virtually impossible. Uh, that happened to <clears throat> uh, a video that I previously uh, playlist. Uh, that was the DJ Pwn3 um, music something. Um, uh, it, it was the music video where DJ Pwn3 was walking around and looking awesome and cool. Yeah, I, I playlist a while back for that one and now it's still in the playlist but I don't get to play it somehow. It's really strange. So yeah, that that's, that's there and that's just very confusing. But still, um, I'm sure you smart people at home know multiple ways to bypass this, so good on you. But yeah, um, the song is okay. It's, it's a nice song. I'll just say that. Moving on. Official? Genius.com account My Little Pony Goes Rogue Reveal Sell Your Tale Volume 4 album and song titles early. <clears throat> All about the music. Bizarrely, a Genius.com account name official MLP has apparently <coughs> sorry, has appeared to reveal a future MLP album Tell Your Tale Volume 4 to be released on February. 16. This information has not been confirmed by any other sources. 
and it remains unclear if this account is actually controlled by Hasbro. <clears throat> the five tracks title are Is This a Dream Is This a Dream? Let Your Music Run Wild, Your Number One, uh, Best uh, Bestie Life, Feel the Magic. Yeah, okay, Feel the Magic. Bestie Life first appeared in a My Little Pony Tell Your Tale episode on January 11. Uh, and your number one was revealed yesterday's new episode. Uh, the other two tracks. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, the official My Little Pony SoundCloud account is the oldest one and has existed for years. It seems normal, but on December 9th, 2023, it suddenly started uploading a lot more tracks, including music that's never been available on normal music streaming service. This is very weird since if Hasbro actually has the rights to do this, they could just put the songs on normal streaming services and on YouTube, which would surely be much more efficient for increasing revenue and ex or, sorry, or exposure. Almost nobody listens to their SoundCloud anyway. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna summarize this up, um, or just to my best of understanding that, uh, yeah, this is strange, and there's a lot of impersonators out there because <coughs> we got no idea if this is an official account or not. They do say it's official, and it's still up. So one would have to surmise that this is official, I guess. So yay, probably. Uh, judging by the posts, I don't know. Who who uses Genius? Like I I, I don't know. Not me, I guess. Um, just looking at the tracks going down a little bit more. Uh. I don't know man, I really need to click in and just really see if this is an official page or not. Like they do, I was saying, they, they, they do um, post stuff only corporate would like to see. Uh, and what's this, music? No, mm, just info I guess. So that's something. And let's see the SoundCloud page, yeah. I don't know, like, when something when they say something is official, I don't know, but things seem to track because um, they're using the same logo, but people can just copy that and whatnot. <laughs> and like Overcast mentioned, why post it here on SoundCloud while you can just post it on YouTube or Spotify or wherever else? Uh, uh, not available in Malaysia. This is sad. Makes sense, by the way, because Malaysia doesn't have stuff. I, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, just looking at all this makes me question stuff. But still, um, the biggest question is: Is this an official page? Is this not an official page? I guess we'll just have to wait. I mean, I guess it is since it's up. Uh, Hasbro copyright team would love to strike it down if it's not, but it's up. I guess it is. Mm. Let's on. Let's move on to the last news. And last news is, Reebok teams up with Hasbro for a G Five My Little Pony line of shoes. <clears throat> uh, Hasbro and Reebok are apparently teaming up for some high end My Little Pony G Five shoes. For all of you out there with kids, they are light up. Uh, they they light up, are filled with lots of neat My Little Pony details, and come in four different variations. Uh, for Zip, Sunny, Pip, and Izzy, the bottom are embossed with each pony's name, and vector shots of them are up. 
uh, set up on the tongue okay uh, this will be hitting stores six, um, on the 16th of February and includes size for toddlers from 4 to 10 preschool sizing from 10.3 to 13.5 and 1 to 3 yeah, head down check them out alright <clears throat> So just looking at this, yeah, it's, it's basically a normal shoe uh, or sneakers just patterned up with pony stuff. Oh, this is what they mean by that. That's cool. All right. And they light up. Oh, man. This reminds me of a... Uh, this reminds me way back when, when um, Reebok did their LA Gear series of shoes. And um, I, I kind of wanted them. Uh, yeah, I, I bought them. Uh, I was young at the time. I was young. I think I was 12, something like that. But uh, I only wore them for about a year till they, uh, I, till I grew them. But the light up shoes were cool, man. Yeah, these are cool. These are cool. So, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, no adult size. So that's a bit mm, disappointing. But this reminds me of a, another brand. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, or is it available in wherever you are. But over here we have this brand called Sketches, and they like to team up with a lot of companies. One of the most memorable one were um, Pokemon, One Piece. Um, <coughs> I think Hello Kitty was one of them. And they also did transformers and so on. So what they do is, uh, they design some kind of shoes, and they mash it up with um, colors from the IP that they took. Uh, for example, like Optimus Prime Transformers. So there's no uh, Transformers or Optimus Prime head on the shoes or whatever it is. It's just that okay, there's the emblem for the Autobots and then they put in the colors for Prime which is white, blue, red um, America colors so and also black for the bottom sole so they design it to a point where it looks really awesome and so on you know what, I'm just gonna try and find it for you guys changing scenes uh, let's see so, yeah, let's see. Okay. Um, let's see if I can just get the picture. Open the new tab. There we go. Awesomeness. So, <clears throat> this was the uh, shoes that they came up with, and this are how. And this is how they look. Uh, you got Optimus Prime. Oh no! Behave. So you got Optimus Prime with um, no black, so it's just America colors uh, with a bit of grey um, on there. Like basically it's the same shoes but recolored in um, or themed colored for the character that they're copying. So what you got Bumblebee which is mostly yellow but uh, they highlight yellow with a lot of black so that looks cool. Prime white so cool too but man that, that's going to be scuffed up pretty fast mirage uh, primal and archie uh, archie i think is exclusive for ladies size but yeah um this is some of the examples that they use so it's nothing too fancy like what reebok did with their pony uh collab but I do think that there is kids version, so maybe there's more uh, kidified stuff. But this is mostly for adults, so uh, you don't really want to put a lot of brand. How say uh, you, you don't really want to put a lot of branding on the shoes. You ju you just want to be minimalized, like with the uh, emblem on the side here. If nobody really pays attention, nobody really see it. From afar, it looks like a really nice pair of sneakers and whatnot. Like uh, the grey on white on whatever color it is. It looks really cool and it looks really nice. 
and with this one too and so on so yeah <clears throat> Uh, the, the news for this week, and also the shoes are pretty, pretty pricey in my opinion. But yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. So let's move on to well, <coughs> the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So week has been pretty okay. Um, it was Chinese New Year holidays. I visited family and friends and so on, and got to catch up with them. It's been a while, so that's fun. Uh, besides that, a lot of just work. W work has been really piling up on me, so yeah, I haven't been doing a lot of fun stuff. Mm. So yeah, and yeah, um, I should be really getting back on this pony train, but man, news has been pretty slow. And if you notice, those news were pretty old, except for the Reebok one, but yeah, um, News have been pretty slow, so doing news show is going to be a bit slow. Review show, on the other hand, I need to keep up to that. Well, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, let's wrap it up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgmail.com, or you can reach us on the Twitter, or website formerly known as Twitter, uh, the show's account is at the MBS show and my personal account is at Norman Sanzo. Also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight and Master of Black mess of lag yes thank you so much guys you are great so anyway i have been norman sanzo and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of nbs show see ya <laughs>